Hi everybody, my name is Ditesh and today we are going to discuss about row number function in Power BI. With the latest updates, Power BI has now enabled row number as a standard function or feature in Power BI. If you have watched my previous video on row number, we have used some work workarounds to get the desired output. However, with the new updates, the users can simply use the row number function and get the same results. So now if I go to the next slide, we will be using a small sample data set to demonstrate how we can use the row number built-in function in Power BI. So if you see here, we have say date, region, product, and quantity. So we have grouped these products into different categories. For example, product A, and then which falls under region America. Similarly, product B, again, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a subgroup for Americas. And then again, we have product A, which belongs to APJ. So if you see here, we have uh, the row number based on the product group. So if I, it's sorted based on the sale date. So the product which was sold on Jan 1st is ranked or uh, the row number is one. Similarly, the product A, uh, where the sale date is fourth is ranked two. Similarly, for the third one, that is product A, which was sold on 10th is three, four. And again, it gets reset once we move to the next categories. Same thing applies to the other categories as well. So B, so this was the first product that was sold on Jan 1st, which is rank one. The next one is rank two, three, and four respectively. Same thing with the APJ. The product A, which was sold on Jan, uh, Feb 1st is rank one. And the next on fourth is rank two. And then 10th is rank three. And then it gets reset after we move to the next category. So um, this was done manually, but we'll be using the row number function to get the same output. Having said that, now let's quickly move to Power BI desktop and then get started. So here is the PBX file. And as you can see, we have the same data set here. And now if you see here, this is the column which I have added manually. So in, in Excel, I have imported it, but we are not gonna use this. This is just for an example. So now we are using the row number built-in function and then we'll try to get the same result so how do we do that so we already have a, a measure a, or a calculated column here but i'll create a new column again for the sake of this demo let's call it as example equal to so as i said we have the built-in function now if you if you want to have the latest uh, power bi application i would recommend you to download it and install it as soon as possible so row number, then we'll be using all, all selected function because I, I don't want to have a implicit filter on this table. So what I'll do is I'll use the all selected function and then select all the fields out here. So no filter on the region product and sale date, okay, close the parenthesis. And then I want to rank this or get the row number based on the sale date order. It's It should be in ascending order. So I'll use sale date, order by sale date, ascending, okay, close the parenthesis. And then we need to partition this, right? If you want to get a row number, we need to we need to get this for each groups and also based on each region. So the product A for Americas and similarly for product B, Americas, and then product A for APJ. So how do we do that? So then use the partition by, partition by, the first I need to do it by region. And then, by product, close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now, as you can see here, we have the row number function. So in the past, we used to use a lot of other functions like earlier rank and get the output. But I think with this new function, it's, it's extremely useful. And I would say it's faster as well. I hope you like this video and if you have any questions, please drop me a note in the comments and thanks for watching.